Now, before I start this video, no, I'm not going to apologise for doing a video about Lionel Messi. After he asked to leave Barcelona on Tuesday night and everything exploded. 2020 continuing to deliver the news that you wouldn't expect. Now, in this video, I'm going to explain exactly what happened on Tuesday night with Messi asking to leave Barcelona and everything that unfolded after and where and how United's name got thrown into the mix. Please, before we begin, drop a like on the video if you would and subscribe to United People's TV if you're new to the channel. But let's talk about Messi, Barcelona, a transfer request and Manchester United. Now, when the news first broke originally, Alfredo Martinez, who is a very respected Spanish journalist, he said that Messi wanted to leave the club, that he wanted to use a clause he had in his contract that allowed him to leave by the end of every season without his release clause being paid. What exactly is that release clause? Apparently, there's a clause in Messi's contract that means he can leave for free at the end of every season he's under contract at Barcelona if he wants to. And he's chosen to exercise that option now and has sent a fax to Barcelona telling them that is the case. But here's the issue. The season has gone on much longer than it normally would. So technically the clause has expired but because the season didn't finish until last week when the Champions League final happened. That's what Messi is arguing apparently and that's why they're locked now in a legal battle which I'll get into later on. But Alfredo Martinez continued to tweet about the Messi situation and said Messi would not be training this week with Barcelona, that that decision was made. The news started to then blow up in Spain and in Argentina. Was this really happening? Then the president of Catalonia, he tweeted at Lionel Messi, thanking him for everything that he had done at Barcelona. So the president of Catalonia was tweeting and getting involved. And then Carlos Puyol, he tweeted his support for Lionel Messi and what he was doing. And Luis Suarez. He tweeted his support as well. So it really was happening. And then the man himself, Fabrizio Romano, who seemingly knows everything about every single transfer in the world. It, it's, it's mental. But this is what he had to say about the Messi situation as it was unfolding. He said the Leo Messi saga has started. Barcelona board having an emergency meeting to understand the steps. And he wanted to leave the club. It really was all starting to kick off. And then you look at this video, there was fans immediately going outside Barcelona's offices demanding for Bartomeu to be sacked. He is the president of Barcelona. And then more reports emerged just after that saying that the Barcelona board had already had that meeting that some directors had already resigned and that pressure was coming on Bartomeu to resign. And that's ultimately what this situation is. It's Messi versus the board. Clearly, Messi is so pissed off with everything that's gone on at Barcelona for a long time that he's asking the board to leave. Or not asking the board to leave, but power playing so the board leaves rather than him. And we all know who Barcelona are going to choose. So I wouldn't be surprised if Bartomeu is sacked within the next 48 hours and Messi stays but that's what's going on at the moment. And Sport out in Spain as a newspaper saying that United and PSG and Inter are some of the early runners for Messi and have already made contact and have already made those initial steps. I mean, this is literally Edward Wood's dream, the sort of marquee signing that he has two wet dreams a week about. And then you look at the papers out in Spain and of course it's all about Lionel Messi this morning. And back over here, David Ornstein is saying that Pep Guardiola has already spoken to Messi on the phone as you would expect the former Barca manager. So that's what's happened with Messi. Him asking to leave Barcelona. Barcelona saying, hell no. The legal battle that will happen between those two over that release clause and everything that happened in between. What a mad, mad six hours it was last night on Twitter when the Messi story broke. But what if, what if, Lionel, just what if Lionel Messi joined Manchester United? Let a man dream because we've had absolutely fuck all to get excited about this summer. So I'm going to get excited about the fantasy idea of Messi to United, even though I'm probably more likely to join this summer. As I said, it's sort of Ed Woodward's dream signing, Messi. And can he really turn down the idea of signing Messi, even if he's 33? It's Lionel Messi. Messi. It's Messi. Lionel Messi. Not sure if I mentioned, but it's Messi. I mean, his wages are ridiculous. Have a look at this. I think it's around about 
pounds a week, apparently, according to football leaks. With mad image rights, mad bonuses. I mean, Jesus. Even if he is on a free transfer, which it probably won't be, and if he does leave Barcelona, it'll be for a ridiculous amount of money, even if he's 33 because it's Lionel Messi. Can you turn down the idea of signing Messi? Really? One of the greatest, if not the greatest, footballer that's ever lived. He might be 33, but he's got a couple of years left. And Messi on the right, Rashford on the left, Martial through the middle. A man can dream. We can all dream. But could we really turn that idea down? Let me know what you think in the comments below. I mean, in terms of plans, it would blow everything out of the water that United are planning by Solskjaer. And, well, I say planning, we've done absolutely nothing this summer. So if we do have plans, they're pretty crap plans. But it would blow it all out of the water because it's not the sort of young signings that we're making, players who have got careers ahead of them. It's a player who's got basically his whole career behind him. But Messi, mate, look, I just want to let you know, I'll forgive you for 2009. I'll forgive you for 2011. We'll just say, you know, that's, that's in the past. You just come to United, maybe do the same again in 2021 and 2023, but this time in a United shirt and we win it instead of losing the Champions League finals. You know, I'll forgive you and we can just bygones be bygones. Don't worry about it. Just come to United. There's no point going City. You know all that with Guardiola. Ah, oh, that's, you know, I've already done that before. It's boring. Just come to United. It's, it's the only option. But re realistically, I think Messi will stay at Barcelona. I think Bartomeu will be sacked by Barcelona. But that's how bad the situation is at Barcelona, that Messi has actually asked to leave the club. I hope this video has explained to you everything that happened last night, because it all got a bit crazy, it all got quite hard to understand. But Messi has asked to leave Barcelona. He's put in that transfer request. Barcelona have said no, and there'll be a legal battle over the whether or not that release clause is too late to use this season or not. But the reality is that if Barcelona... Barcelona won't hold on to Lionel Messi if he really doesn't want to play for the club. He will be sold. They will cash in on one of the most valuable players in the entire world of football. Where he will go, United will want him. City will want him. PSG will want him. Juve will try. Imagine Juve. Ronaldo and Messi. I almost want that to happen just for the sake of it. But every club in the world would want him. United, we would be able to afford him technically, but I, I don't really know about United's finances anymore. It seems terrible. And we haven't signed anybody this summer, so to go from signing nobody to signing Messi would be an utter madness. But let me know what you think about all this Messi stuff. Is this just hot air? Is this just another power play by a big player? at their club just to get a better deal. But come on, man, if he's on nearly a million a week, he does not need a better deal, does he? It sounds like Messi really is just frustrated with the situation at Barcelona to the point where he's put in a request to leave. Where he will go, let me know what you think in the comments. But Messi to United, even if it's just a pipe dream that lasts for six hours, I'm taking it. Let me know what you think in the comments below, though.